Ford truck. <laughs> lousy, loud, noise making sons of bitches. You watch your mouth. What's up guys, thanks for checking out Black Diamond Guns of Gear. I'm Josh. And I'm Josh. Today we are doing something on a shotgun that we can't find on the internet. This shotgun is almost like a unicorn. There's only maybe a handful of videos that I've been able to find. And this is the 930 Breacher. Now this one's a little bit different. This is the Thunder Ranch Edition. Now the cool thing about the Thunder Ranch Edition is, man look at that camo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's enough to make a nun turned on. So, Clint Smith is the guy that runs Thunder Ranch, which is a great place to go if you want to do a lot of training. This thing is a semi-auto loader, 12 gauge, and honestly, it's ran everything that I have personally put through it. Now, a little bit about it is, like he said, this is a semi-auto loader. This is basically patterned after the Mossberg 500. So, it has similar controls to the Mossberg 500, but semi-automatic. You ain't got to pump it every single time. 18 and a half inch barrel. The cool part about it is the breacher here is actually part of the barrel. So that's the whole 18 and a half inches yeah. to that breech. The neat thing about this is this actually kind of helps as a choke as well. It won't have a good spread. It'll have yeah. a tight pattern. Also, it has a fiber optic front sight, four in a tube, one in the chamber that gives you five, and it'll shoot anywhere from two and three quarters to three inch shells. Yeah. So we've been shooting low brass, high brass. It don't matter the single shoot. It, it so. runs. And I, we've had problems with other things too. We've done three gun three gun competitions where we had problems with other semi-auto loaders. Uh, what was the one I used that wouldn't that wouldn't work on me? FN, FN Herstal. We it was, it was the FN. FN freaking shotgun. Wouldn't work. But this thing takes everything, man. Mossberg 930 is my favorite so far. We're gonna shoot it. Buckshot. So guys, like we were saying a little bit ago, we have a five round capacity. We got four in the tube, one in the chamber. Whoop, put that in backwards. That could have been a bad day. So that's five. And man, like I said, for a semi-auto shotgun, this actually shoots surprisingly soft. So we've shot, shot some harsh shotguns. This one's actually not bad. Oh yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, man, it's like, it's like you don't even, it's not, it doesn't feel like a 12 gauge when you're shooting it at all. Like it's super soft. But that's running. It's about to feel like a shotgun. <laughs> yeah. So we got buckshot. We're going to run some of that through here too. <clears throat> but I swear it doesn't feel like it. Uh-oh. That's one thing I noticed too. If you hadn't, I've got my thumb stuck in there before. That's the reason why I'm kind of hesitant about it. But if you don't push it all the way into the tube, it'll get caught. And don't they call that like ghost riding in it or something like that? Yeah. It's like a thing that will actually work. But yeah. Okay. Here we go. Even with buckshot though, it's still not that bad. Like it's actually pretty manageable. Shoulders not sore, nothing like that. Like it's, it's kind of soft. And like I said, runs everything we put through it. I don't even know what, that's a Winchester, right? So this is Winchester, two and three quarter inch, uh, 27 pellets. It's a double op buck, a high brass, super X, whatever you want to call it. But uh, I love it, dude. If I'm picking a shotgun, I'm picking this one for sure. I love the charging handle too, how it sticks out that far. Uh, 
Now, as you can see, we're not the three gun guys who shove in bullets and all that. You know what? We get it done, but we're a lot slower. Is what it is. So I can tell that that had a little more heat to it, but <laughs> it wasn't terrible. It's pretty soft overall. It's actually pretty soft. And to be honest with you, this is actually my favorite shotgun I've ever owned. I, I don't know, I've never shot a 930 that wasn't the uh, Thunder Ranch Edition, but I imagine having the, the breacher on there probably does a little bit more to it. And uh, I like actually how short it, it is. I mean, 18 inches is not bad. So, guys, we couldn't find a video on the Thunder Ranch Edition 930 out there, the Mossberg 930. So that's why we wanted to show it to you guys. Thanks for watching. We're going to try to put out some more videos for you guys. Go check out 7620.com. That is where you find all of our stuff, promo codes and all that shit. We also have a podcast called the 76 Tuesday Podcast. Go to the channel, check it out, subscribe and all that stuff like that because we really need some more subscribers over there. Guys, if you have to use the Mossberg 930 in self-defense, might as well check out US All Shield. Go sign up and use promo code BDGG. It helps out the channel. It's US All Shield at usallshield.com. Now, guys, you'll see us on other platforms like Rumble. Rumble is a platform where they do not censor you at all, and it's actually a growing population over there of people that are free-minded, free-thinking people. So we're putting some stuff on Rumble. If you want to go over there and subscribe, that would help us out a lot. We're gonna put stuff over there that basically has no editing whatsoever and no- Censorship. Censorship, that's the right word. So, YouTube has been doing that to us a lot. We barely get any views over here as it is, so we're gonna to try to build it somewhere else. So wait, they don't censor you? So you can literally say, piss, fuck, me, piss, fuck, ass, <laughs> butthole. So guys, go check us out on Rumble. We're trying to build it up over there. We're gonna start putting more videos over there and not censoring anything. Here, we kinda of have to watch what we say. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay vigilant. Stay safe. Stay alive. Go buy a Mossberg down there. Oh, okay.